725 says you have a linked list which is you know what a linked list is basically if you look at the linked list is basically uh, it's kind of saying that a node val and the next pointer so the definition is given on the top so this is a list node and basically in a linked list you always have a head that's it nothing more than that so they given uh, head is or sometimes called a root so this is the linked list and root dot next is always the the next node normally in python the linked list are basically just putting like 1 2 3 4 like this i think in java was also have it now the question which is here is we have a linked list 1 2 3 4 and you distribute into five elements so let's say we have a linked list of saying 1 2 3 4 comma 5 and you need to distribute into into two list and it should be either equal size or so, uh, first few nodes should be bigger in size plus condition is the ordering is same so let's say the question becomes if you have five items right how will you distribute into three boxes so the simplest way is saying is what I will do is I distribute one, one, one. So two are left. So in the first two baskets, I'll put one and one. So effectively, this becomes two comma two comma one. So this is a final distribution. Okay. So how do we get this? This is all just equal. This is just saying uh, three are done. This is just saying that five divided by 3 is 1 and this this just means 5 5 modulo 2 modulo 3 is equal to 2 is equal to 1 so what it means is that each bucket will have one element and this means first two buckets will have one extra element so this is how the distribution works so uh puja you got how it is done uh yes uh yes ankur so I, I even I solved it in Java. So yes, I, I uh, got your point. Like the phi uh, modulo three is reminder. So what, whatever is extra is left, we have to distribute in the first initial list. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So that's a part we have to look at. Who, so yes. you asked the question, right? Today in the morning? Or somebody else asked the question? Yes, yes. I asked okay. the question. Uh, initially, I was not getting it, how to solve it. But just now, I, I was like uh, looking at it and uh, I, I got it. Uh, but yeah, it will be nice if you also explain it. Uh, it will be more okay. clear to me. Yeah. Okay. So this is how your distribution works. Now, how do we do that? So uh, in this thing, I, for me, I did is, I said I need... I need, let's say, five buckets or three buckets, three boxes. So what I did was I just said, okay, I have a array of um, MP0, P1, P2, or P2, P2 positions. So this is three positions I have, all which are null. Then I, I trade on the so then I iterate on each of these things, uh, buckets and get, I try to fill those in. So how do I go about filling that in? So I say is for I in range K that is fill each bucket. How many, how many I need to fill in? 
fill in is equal to um, let's say each size equal to oh, first I have to find the size yeah L let me see def get size root for i equal to z zero for while root i plus equal to one i plus equal to one root equal to root dot next next yes and return i this is your size of the thing size of the list so each so bucket size each bucket size is um uh get let's say total length equal to get size of root and each size is equal to total length divided by the uh, k and extra size equal to total length percentage k so this is all you get in the this is how you get the size now let's say how you do fill that in um size for size of bucket equal to each size plus extra extra size will be only one uh if extra size size b plus equal to one extra size minus equal to one right because once you go with the first two buckets then it becomes zero over here and this if you look at the position here line 24 and each is third bucket it should be zero so first time it will be one then it is uh let's say make it more verbose as long as it is greater than zero that i need some extra size i put it over there so this is your size now how do i do it i normally i normally don't like to put extra pointers or extra nodes initialize it i always go by the uh initial just uh, one which we have nodes we have i say head equal to head head node equal to last node equal to root so this is my head node for initially and this is my last node is also same place now what i am saying is uh for i in range um size b we get into size three on this one uh i get oh i need to put some error condition which is i will forget to put an error condition which will be if empty list or list is finished i just uh, a brief uh, if not head break let's say that there is a case when the list is empty or something i just say zero here i don't have to do anything i just return the empty list over from the previous part i can return the return the return the list uh now my return value is i'm on line 31 i initialize my return value in a different way i'm making sure that every element is equal to so this this what it does is it just make sure that i have a array of uh empty uh this is not empty this will be a none i think this will be a none none yes they just make sure that i have empty elements for now because sometimes they can be empty elements if there is a empty list and it says going to 5 i have to make or 4 i have to make four empty lists so this 31 and 32 line number just returns a is a empty list here i'm going to fill this return value 
from the code which I'm writing over here. Okay. You got what I did in 31 and 32 line number, right? Karan and Puja? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So all I'm saying is that I did uh, I in the range of size B minus one. And then I go from here. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Hey, Ankur, one quick question. On the left side, uh, mm -hmm. okay, if you see the, the last line, the root, correct? That's the line input. number. Line number, which one? Uh, uh, on the left side. I'm, I'm just talking about left okay. side. Okay, uh, last line. Okay, uh, come to the last line. That is a root, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. So the K value is three. So you are splitting from the number five because that is the fourth yeah, element. Yeah. Okay, but how you are splitting it, uh, again from eight? That's no, what no, no, I don't. See, what I said is, so when you, let's do this question here. Let's say the size is, let's put it over here. We are explaining this question here, okay? So what I'm saying is my total len equal to 10, right? Yeah. Okay. So each size equal to 10 by 3 or 3 equal to 3, right? And extra size is extra size is ten percentage one or three Modulus. equal to one, right? So which means okay. This means that I have three entries, three entries, three entries. This means for the first element I'll put one, then it says zero and zero. So if you add these ones in the corresponding elements, this becomes four comma three comma three. So I'm adding line numbers, adding line number 31 and 33. Look at this, right? If I'm saying I, I need three from each, so one is left, so one will go to the first bucket, which is the first, this one, right? So how will you add, how will it become finally? It will become 433. Okay, okay, now I see your point. Okay. So okay. now you go back here, you see, right? I said my each size is this one, okay? If I had extra, I put one in this bucket and I reduce by minus one. Next time I come, it will be 333. For the first range, it is four, then it becomes three, right? Can you go back to that line uh, on you? Which can one? You, can yeah. you just go back above, a little above? Okay, so the each size, you put 10 by 3 and then, okay, extra size model as 3. Okay, I got it. Okay, so this is 4 the four, 3. So this is how you're saying. And now if you go to the question here, right? So all I'm doing is, um, I have a last n and last n, yeah. So if it is bigger than this, if if last n, last node is here, then I say last node is equal to last n dot next, okay? This will keep on, this will make it to a size bigger than what it is there. It will keep adding, making the list bigger and bigger. Once I'm out of the loop, once I'm out of the, out of the loop, I say, if I have, if last node is still there, then it means, uh, let me just put this one in the, what is a uh, return well of, well of I equal to head. So this is how you put in. So if last node is still there, I say head equal to last node dot next, last node dot next equal to null, none. That's what it and else last node is head equal to none. And when you do is last node equal to header again. This is the condition which we did in 54 line number. We are doing it over here. I think I can combine these two lines. It's not uh, optimal, but I can do that. And I just say, 
return. Uh, so this is what I'm doing. I'm making this is a one which is saying uh, this is a default bucket size, and this is default uh, extra size for each bucket, and this is actually filling up the the buckets or whatever buckets are slash making list longer this is when you are breaking the connection to next nodes and that's the condition back so you got how i did it jagrat any feedback oh, jagrat is gone looks like okay ashok karan pooja Ah uh, yeah, I got it. Uh. Okay, Jagrat, any feedback? Uh, I don't no, know. it will no, compile no. or not, but let me check. <laughs> I okay, something went wrong. Something is total length. This is still okay. Total length run code. What the heck? If not head spelling, head, no, 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 no. Head and. Head, head, um, last node, head node. Yep. I'm just trying to figure if I didn't make some mistake or not. Head, 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 head. Right. This makes sense. Last node is. Yep. Come on, compile. Come on. Yep, this is the this is the output, right? This is what is expected. Now let's change the output to this one. Let's change this case to test case to this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and three. Okay, this makes sense. 